Take a look at this Pomsky who is just has no sense of personal space, has no sense of calmness around other dogs, and can get himself in some big, big trouble. Here in a second, you're going to hear and see me calling my dog across the room, and as I call my dog, this Pomsky immediately changes directions and beelines my dog now the first time this happens you see my dog doesn't respond by pouncing on that other dog no rocky actually signaled that first time to the other dog to stop and he didn't so the second time that dog ran over in the same manner you can see that rocky was less generous with his response now this pomsky is absolutely out of control this behavior that you're watching on the screen is absolutely inappropriate and should not be happening. This is not play. This is not aggression. This is a dog without boundaries that lacks personal space, that does not receive signals from other dogs, or at least doesn't care to receive them and understand them, because at some point being excited was more valuable than staying calm. Some dogs are more intense and will not tolerate this younger dog initially with more intensity. And that might be okay depending on how far they take it. You never want a dog getting hurt, right? Just because this dog is overexcited doesn't mean my dog can now go bite him and shake him up. That's not how this works. The accomplishing part for my dog is giving this other annoying dog the, the slow signals over time and matching that other dog's energy and intensity with an increase Rocky, in come. intensity in the signaling that is supposed to be telling that dog to chill out. So when a dog is correcting another dog, they usually feel pressured, right? And by pressure, I mean social pressure or sometimes physical pressure on their space. And that dog will usually respond with some sort of signaling. We do not want that dog to bite, like I said, but we do want that dog to slowly and with grace, let that other dog know that you did not like what they just did. And at that point, if that goes unheard, then as the more stable dog, you're not just allowed to keep escalating. That's where it gets tricky, all right? So this dog that feels harassed is supposed to put the pressure back on that other dog and back off of that other dog that they're pressuring by releasing pressure, by, by pretty much moving backwards and becoming less intense and repeat that over and over and over with perfect timing and perfect intensity and perfect intentions and a perfect mentality and that is the job of the dog that we count on to stop or play with this overexcited dog that they never wanted anything to do with in the first place i'm shlomi dory thank you for watching i'll see you on the next one Whoa!